An annual report published by the U.S. Geological Survey USGS, shows the total seismic activity in the National Park in 2021 including 2,773 earthquakes, 1,000 more than those in the park in 2020. At the time of writing, 42 people have reported that they felt a magnitude 4.2 earthquake. A statement from YVO said most reports described shaking as weak or mild. YVO says more than 30 earthquakes of magnitude 4.0 or more have struck Yellowstone since 1973. Today's earthquake, which occurred at a depth of 14 kilometers 8.7 miles, was the largest to have occurred in Yellowstone National Park since the M4.5 event on June 15, 2017 part of a swarm of small, long-lived earthquakes in the area between Lake Hebgen and the Hebgen Basin, Geyser Norris, northeast of West Yellowstone, Montana, the statement said. The earthquake swarm at Yellowstone saw about 2,500 tremors recorded over a three-month period. It was one of the largest earthquake swarms ever recorded in the park. The largest earthquake swarm ever recorded occurred in 1985, when more than 3,000 earthquakes struck the area in three months. In 2018, David Shelley, a seismologist at the USGS, examined the cause of the swarm, saying it appeared to be driven by water moving through tiny crevices beneath the surface. Because this water is under great pressure in the deep crust where it is released, it tends to migrate upwards and sometimes sideways. When interacting with colder, brittle rocks stressed by tectonic and volcanic processes, this water can trigger earthquakes. In fact, the earthquake itself allows fluids to migrate more efficiently through faults in the rock.